Welcome back. So today, I'm going to be using a full face of like kind of new makeup slash December favorites because I didn't really include anything that I bought from like late November on fuzzy late November on in my like 2022 favorites videos you know what I mean I, it just it just didn't seem like it was like fair to throw them in there you know what I mean so in December this makeup look was kind of like my go-to like a bright rosy simple natural very easy um don't have to really wear a mask too much anymore because the illness has kind of surpassed my workplace um and the busy season is gone so i can go back to being dewy 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 and loving my skin again i just want to take some time and introduce a project that i'm doing for a little bit starting in the new year of our lord 2023. So this project was inspired by the youtuber Hope Miss Tom. You can check out their channel, I will link it below. They are kind of uh, amazing. They make me laugh so hard and I think that they are super creative and super mindful about spending and rec taking time to like recommend things to their audience and they have a really good discourse with their subscribers like they don't feel separated from them they feel like a peer of their subscribers you know what I mean and that's something that I aim to do as well as a small creator is to like really just be friends with all of you and like just talk about things that we love in the beauty community Anyways, so they created a playlist, I think at the end of 2021, going into 2022 to break their 2021 no buy. And so they titled it like something like using all my makeup in the month of December. So for me going into 2023, I don't want to buy any new makeup until I've physically used all of my makeup in my collection. So essentially what the rule is that they kind of created this project with was that each makeup item has a category. So you have your mascaras, your blushes, your bronzers, etc. And you can't use the same product again until you've cycled through every single product in said category. So certain categories are going to go a lot quicker for me than others. So my favorite categories in makeup are single eyeshadows, like easy one and dones, and blushes. So those categories are going to take me a, a significantly longer time to go through than say my mascaras or my highlighters or even like all of my skin tints because I only have like three or four mascaras open at a time and I only have like three or four complexion products going on at the same time. You get it. So I can't use one product again until I cycle through the entire category Okay, am I over explaining this? Maybe. I got this from Hope Miss Tom and they used it to like, you know, get to know their makeup collection, which was significantly bigger at the time and helped declutter and blah, blah, blah. And for me, it's not necessarily like getting to know my makeup collection, but more so just to like say that I've used every single product in 2023 before I bought anything new. Okay, uh, just start off this project with my December favorite slash some new to me things just to get them out of the way to let you guys know what I've been trying and liking some certain combinations etc so yeah if this sounds interesting to you then please keep watching like comment subscribe you know all that stuff and um, I'm gonna try my best to film as many of these looks as possible I do kind of have like a limit of like time throughout my week of like when I can upload and when I can actually sit down and do these things. So if you are curious about like things that I'm using that aren't on my YouTube channel, you can go to my Instagram or my TikTok. I do, I don't post different things on there. Um, if I post something on my Instagram, I just upload it to my TikTok and vice versa. So if you're curious about other things that I'm using that may not pop up onto my channel on here, you can catch it there. Okay, I can only do so much. I can only do so much. Okay, let's get into the look. So I'm gonna start off with complexion. These products aren't necessarily new to the market, but one of them is new to me, and that is the Auric Glow Lust mixed with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Now, the Tinted Moisturizer has been not really 
it's not really a favorite of mine. Um, given the name Tinted Moisturizer, I never really found it that moisturizing on my skin. Um, given I don't really have that dry of skin, I lean pretty like normal combination and in the summer pretty oily actually. Um, but I found that in certain areas like this can pull kind of dry on my skin which I always kind of confused me. But when I mix it with the Auric Glow Lust, which is like a new favorite of mine, it's a really beautiful combination and that's all I've been doing the past like month. Like it, it's just, it's such a beautiful combination. So I just do this the same way I would the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and I just take one full pump and then I take it onto the high points of my cheeks. And I'm using the shade Selenite for reference. Um, yeah, it's, it's just so lovely. And I take two dabs, like that, of the tinted moisturizer. And then I blend them together with a really damp sponge. As you can see, that gives it a little added boost and moisture and something I've noticed before, it does collect in the corners of my nose and breaks apart on my chin and my forehead. Um, but when I add the Auric Glow Lust, it does not do that. And it kind of shears it out a little bit more, makes it a little more glowy. This works so much better for me now and I'm really happy that I found a way to get this to work for me, work for my skin type. Um, yeah. So there is that. The next new to me product is actually new to 2022 and new to me and it's been a December favorite and it's the LYS Triple Fix Concealer. I have this in the shade uh, LN6 and I wasn't sure about this at first because I was using a brush and I found that it looked pretty dry with a brush. This is a full coverage concealer that I, I think but you can share it out. And I think the color is pretty, pretty great. But given that it can pull a little more dry on me, I found that using a sponge helps it a great deal. But yeah, I've been actually using this quite a lot in the past month and ever since I got it. Um, and using a sponge, it it looks really lovely. Like it's a very nice concealer and it's reasonably priced. I think it's only like $18-ish. Like it, it's under $20, I'll say that. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really lovely formula for the price point. And even if it was worth more, I would still say that it's a lovely formula. So it's a good product is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yes, so uh, yeah, the LYS Triple Fix just branching out. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. So that just added a little bit more coverage in the center of the face where I need it because I do tend to pull a little red right there. But yeah, it just evens out the skin tone um, when it's applied thin. It's like a thin serum too. Like the texture isn't like a thick concealer. It's a very thin concealer. But for how thin it is, it does give a pretty impressive amount of coverage and it's pretty nice. Yeah. Not my favorite, but uh, yeah, I will use this up. This next product is a cheek product, and I was pretty excited to buy this. Um, oh, I guess I should say I bought all of these products, not all of them. I guess I should say is I, I bought some of these products at the Sephora 20% off end of year sale thing they did, um, which was really sneaky because they did their VIB thing where they give other people like less of a discount and some people more of a discount, but then they go ahead and just give everybody 20% off at the end of the year just to get more sales. Sneaky. This product isn't necessarily new. I do believe it came out in 2021, but they made it permanent in 2022 because people just loved it so much. And this is the Bare Minerals Blonzers. So if you know me, I can't open it. If you know me, you know I love myself a good blushy bronzer or a bronzy blush. A bronzer. 
Yes, so uh, I got the shade Kiss of Rose because they have like a copper one and a pink one and you know, I'm not really into peaches and I'm not really into like kind of shimmery pinks, but I am diving into the rose life. Yeah, and it's and it's not like a crazy rose. It's just like that beautiful bronzy rose, hence it being a bronzer. What am I saying? It's very pigmented, very like shimmery. It has like this like beautiful gold shift. I'll do a swatch since people have been complaining about me not doing swatches. Is that... That's what it looks like swatch. So you could use this as an eyeshadow, you know, like it seems like it's a very like versatile product. It's very like velvety, very soft. Um, yeah, it's super lovely and, but it is very pigmented. So you have to like use a very, very light hand. Take this big old brush here and just dab, like look how much like comes up and I'm gonna kind of dab it on the back of my hand a little bit. And with bronzers, I like to drape my blush. So I like to take it up, it's very 1980s. I like to take it up by my temple and then bring it down so more saturation is up by my temples. So quick, it's, it's, it's kind of blows my mind. Like, and with this, I don't wear a bronzer or a highlighter with it. It kind of acts like my Hourglass uh, Brilliant Nude blush, which, is a very like it's not rose or anything but it's more neutral but it's like a brownie neutral beige with like a golden shimmer going through it so it acts like a blush a bronzer and a highlight and this is just kind of the rose counterpart to that and it's just so so lovely oh my god I'm so happy I picked this up. Um, I see why people love it so much. I've been seeing people like love these for a really long time and I'm really happy that I now own one and I've been using it for like a quick, easy, like one and done complexion product. I went ahead and even put like a very light dusting of it on my eyes just to give a little extra dimensionality to my eyeballs because um, I didn't try any new eyeshadows in the month of December. I kind of like took a step back and I'm like, what do I really want instead of just bye, 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 you know? Um, but I did not purchase this next product. I was actually given this in PR. Glossier gifted this to me, baby's first PR. <laughs> this next product is Glossier Lash Slick, which is basically what introduced me to tubing mascaras and they came out with a brown. And it's the same formula, same wand, same packaging, same everything, but it is this kind of like warm brown, which at first glance when I saw it, I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work for me color-wise because my hair is so dark and my eyelashes and eyebrows are basically just like black. But when it dries, it does dry down a little bit darker. It did kind of tone down the red that's in this brown. So I think that this would be a beautiful product for anyone who has lighter hair than me. Um, if you have like jet black hair, I would say that you probably don't need this. It might pull a little too warm on you because I'm like right underneath having black hair so I can get away with like brown mascaras and like sometimes like brown pigmented eyebrow products. Anyways, um, yeah, they sent this to me and I've been using it a lot for like quick, like natural looking eyelashes. Um, it's been really nice. Okay, so I just wanted to show the mascara fully done. And yeah, as you can see, it doesn't pull super red. It does dry down to a darker shade of brown. And it just provides like a natural softer look to a very soft look such as this. Um, but I'm not someone who really is interested in soft looking eyelashes. Like I like my eyelashes to be kind of the star of the show a lot of the time. But on like a quick easy day like this, I do find that this is a lovely mascara to use and I'm very grateful that they sent it to me. Thank you so much, Glossier. Ooh, this next product. I have been wanting one of these for a bit. And I don't know what was really like stopping me from buying one, but I think it was just like the name. Like I was just, I, for some reason I was like, I don't feel worthy of the name. In my head, I was like, you can't own anything from Gucci girl, but I bought it. Uh, it was during the sale. This was not gifted to me, but Gucci beauty. Oh my God, look at it. It's like, it feels like it's like 
ceramic. I don't know. It's so lovely. It's heavy. It has like just this beautiful burnishing and the floral. I just, oh my God. I have this, um, this is their uh, like sheer kind of balmy tint one. Uh, looks like this. It's in the shade, I hope I say this right, Catrin Sand. Catrin Sand. So it's like a rosy brown. We're really into roses right now. Yeah, that's that's me. But it, it's, it's so beautiful. And I finally understand the Gucci smell that everybody's talking about. And I love it. I'm one of the people that love it. Like the first time I smelled it, I was like, whoa, that's a smell. But now that I smell it, I'm like, it almost makes my like mouth water. Like it makes me like one of those either like a perfume or like a treat. Like it's just not going to be for everybody because the smell, you can kind of taste it for a while on your lips. So I could see how some people would like probably not like that, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'll do a, a swatch on this hand so you can just see like how it looks like just like a beautiful, warm, rosy brown. So easy, so everyday, like just an incredibly lovely, lovely formula. Oh yeah, definitely worth the money, so beautiful. And it's like one of those things you don't even really need to like use a mirror or anything. Like I can just kind of like glance in the viewfinder and like know it'll be fine. And with this, it does last a pretty long time given the like kind of emollients of the formula. This is me applying it very sheerly, but you can build it up a little bit. And I like to wear it just like this, no lip liner, no nothing. It just, um, it's very lovely. It's so pretty. And it's a very easy everyday shade and it's just so pretty. Like I love looking at this on my vanity. Like I look at that and I'm like, I'm gonna goosey lipstick. So I think that's it for today. I think those were my most used products in the month of December and also kind of like newer to me makeup. Um, very simple, very like fresh looking, very glowy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very happy with it. Everything just kind of like fits together in a very perfect, perfect look. I'm really excited to start this project and I hope you enjoy the videos to come. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but uh, yeah, it's just basically like an elevated shot my stash, but like with more rules, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, bye!